What's up, beautiful people of the interweb? I am back with another video after like three months of not uploading anything because of school and whatever else, but it's summertime now, so I have a lot of time to make a lot of cool content. And the first video is a good video because I'm actually road tripping to Washington with some friends. Right now I have Colin with me. We are about 200 miles into this road trip. I was gonna film an intro a while ago, but I totally blanked on it. So I'm filming it now. We're in Point Arena in front of a rotting gun club. Um, if you guys don't know where Point Arena is, I'll put it on the map. It's just along the coast. But basically, day one is really just driving until we find a place to stop because this is the one day that we didn't book a campsite. So we're just kind of going to be posting up anywhere. Um, if you don't know me or my channel and this is your first time ever watching, this is my 87 325 IS and there's one special thing about it. It has a 4.4 liter V8 in it that makes just under like 300 horsepower and 300 torque. So it's pretty fun. It's been really enjoyable driving along the one this entire time. Um, and uh, at this point, we're kind of just hoping that everything works out because this car is not the most reliable in the world and we're driving all the way to Washington for the E30 picnic, which is the biggest E30 meet in the country. So yeah, we're just going along, getting some nice B-roll of the coast because this drive is just really nice. I mean, you can tell it looks very cool. Many trees, many awesome things. But yeah, we're, how many, I don't know, how many miles should we, I don't know how many drive, <laughs> we have a, there's a lot of miles to go left today. I think we're gonna drive another like probably 60. We've been on the road since like 1.30. It's been a while. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on where we go. All right, so it's the point of the night where the sun has set. We're just hanging out now. And now it's time to look for a campground or a beach or just somewhere that we can stay for the night. So yeah, this is gonna be kind of a gamble to figure out <laughs> where we're gonna where we're gonna be staying. But uh, I guess I'll update you guys when we get there. You know? <laughs> All right, so update, we are currently uh, sleeping in the E30. I don't know if you can tell, but this is the setup for tonight, unfortunately, um, with no campsite. Hopefully this is the only night we're ever gonna have to do this. But, yeah, to be honest, it's not, it's not that bad. I don't think it's that bad. I don't know how Colin feels about it. It's gonna be pretty fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm chilling though. So, uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the morning when, when we wake oh, up. Hopefully no. it's not too early with the sun beaming in on the windshield. No, we're we'll good, see. we're good, we're good. Alright, it's good morning. It's, uh, 7, 7, 14 in the morning. It's about the earliest I'll ever wake up. But, uh, we slept okay, I guess, in the back of this thing. It's some random Vista Point parking lot. Um, now it's time to get food. I'm really cold. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my morning update. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> just crossing the street. Why is it not focusing? Come on, focus. Oh no, oh it's gonna be too bright. Oh, well, if, the, since you guys couldn't see, there was a horse that just crossed the main highway, so that's cool. <laughs> um, but we're now driving down, or I should say driving up, we're not driving down. We're driving up the coast, uh, leaving Fort Bragg, and we're gonna be headed towards, um, like, Eureka and Arcata which is another like 150 miles, but we're gonna be going through like Humboldt and stuff, which is like really big redwoods, and it looks very cool, so I'm excited for that. And the roads are like super, super cool. So, yeah, this should be a fun drive. I got a GoPro that I'll probably throw on the hood once we, uh, we get to some good driving roads, so. 
pit stop at Chandler. Oh my god, we're moving already. Oh, we're at the world famous tree. Oh, you asshole, I gotta put my bag back there. <laughs> Alright, we're currently in the tree. This John is 315 feet tall, 21 feet in diameter, and its age is 2,400 years old. Um, yeah, that John pretty big, no lie. I'm gonna take some photos, because it looks cool. Wow. Big tree. All right, so we are currently at um, the Avenue of the Giants. It's this crazy redwood road that runs along 101 in California. We're about like 40 miles from Eureka. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a nice looking area. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of road work stuff though, so we're kind of just like hanging out right now. So, yeah. Alright, so we stopped in Arcata, went to a thrift store, picked up some jorts. That's right. And then I also got gym belt, belt buckle. So, you know, Arcata was a success. Now it's time to go to Trinidad where our campsite is and just like get set up because it's gonna be our first night camping and not sleeping in the fucking car, which is gonna be dope. So, yeah, catch you guys there. Recording now? Yeah. All right, well. Hold on, redo. All right, <laughs> we're at the campsite. Wait, redo. Okay, so we moved spots because our spot over there kind of sucked. So now we got this nice spot. Got the E30 posted up in the grass. Looking very nice. Um, it's a nice day out. It's about all I can say. Gotta set up tents and then eat some food. Cause I'm fucking hungry. Yeah, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch how cool it is. Camping made easy. <laughs> I'm a camping god. Woo! All done. Ah, it's the morning now. It's uh, 8.25, we're all packed up, we're ready to go. And now, starts our journey to Oregon. It's gonna be a long drive, not gonna lie. It's like, it's probably like two hours to Oregon, and then we're gonna go to Samuel H. Boardman, which is a really cool, scenic place. And then we cut inland, and we're driving like four hours inland to Tokatee Falls, which is like this super cool, awesome waterfall. It's gonna be super cool and exciting. I'm tired, if you can't tell, so. Yeah, we're just gonna start driving because we have a very long drive ahead of us. Bye. <laughs> So we're at um, uh, Samuel H. Boardman now. We're on this one place called Natural Bridges. Uh, and the path to get to the natural bridge is like really gnarly. So I'm probably not going to film any of it. And I'm probably going to put my camera in my bag because I don't want to drop my camera. It's also like 50 degrees out. It's also 50 degrees out. Cold as balls. <laughs> but we're doing it. All right. Okay. All right, we made it to uh, Natural Bridges, which is this gnarly spot. I don't, you guys are definitely not gonna be able to tell, but there's that tiny little bridge thing up there. That's like the viewpoint. And then you can walk down the like side of the mountain down this trail. And then you can get to this spot where we're at right now, which is hella gnarly considering like drop, drop, <laughs> and then 
If you want to keep going further, you gotta walk across this guy, and then I think it goes up. It's like a big loop, and then it goes back. But yeah, this is a pretty gnarly spot. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna walk down here. Wow. And you got this guy. Oh look, there's people right there. There's a big rock. Fuck. This is cool. Very cool, very cool. Wow. Okay, so we did the full like natural bridges loop, but the sketchiest part is you have to climb down and climb down this here, which I don't know if you guys can tell. These are my feet together. It's <gasps> big drop, big drop. Like if you mess up right here, like you're done though. So that was definitely um, a little scary. I ended up just jumping down it because I didn't even want to climb down it. Um, maybe I'll insert the clip, the iPhone clip that Colin got of me <laughs> jumping down. But yeah, it's a pretty gnarly spot right here. All right, we made it back from uh, that uh, lovely hike. We're all packed up and ready to continue down the coast for another like hour and a half and then finally we go inland. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but yeah. All right, we made it to the second campsite. Um, got the whip posted up in this jungle. My tent's over there because it's drying because it was soaking wet from the last last stop. Yep, there's Colin, very cool. Um, but look at this spot. We're like literally right on the river. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Wow, it's pretty nice. The only issue is the fact that it's like currently 60 degrees out, which is not really formidable weather for uh, going in the river. But tomorrow, it should be like 70-ish. So it might be better than what it is now. Um, but I'm pretty stoked on the campsite. Literally right up there on the river. It's quite nice. Very pretty. The drive here was like super pretty, as you can tell from the footage that was probably before this clip. But uh, yeah, now the only issue that we have is the fact that we didn't really bring um, that much, or we didn't eat lunch, and we didn't bring any food other than chips, and Jake isn't coming until later. So now we're trying to decide if we should drive somewhere to get food, but then we don't know if there's places to get gas, because the only gas station anywhere near us only had 87. So now we're kind of just like stuck here for a little bit, unless we find a gas station or we find food that's like kind of close by. So yeah, that's my update for now. Okay, so we just went to go get food and gas, but we stopped on this place that is like, I guess this logging pathway, but there's that huge mountain over there and then a huge, not that mountain, <laughs> that mountain over there. And it's like, there's just nothing for so long. Oh, and there's a mountain over there. There's three mountains. So cool. Wow. I'm gonna do a little slide for fun. Alright, we made it to the campsite with Jake. It's E34, 5.30. Setting up tent right now. Just hanging out. I don't think I'm gonna film anything more because we're kinda just like chilling for the night as Colin murders Jake's brother. So yeah. That's my update for today. <laughs> and we're gonna end it here.